Today we're going to show you how to install the E Plus Bosch chip. Both the light and advanced version can be installed with this method. To do this you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the Bosch chip, the instruction manual. You're going to need a T20 Torx, a 8mm Allen key, some needle nose pliers, a crank extraction tool and a heat gun. Okay, the first step is to remove the pedal or the crank, um, the Allen key. Once the crank arm is removed, you need to remove the two Torx screws. There's one down here. One up. And they should be able to pull the cover forwards and then towards the front of the bike. Okay, next step is to get your needle nose pliers and remove the connectors. We're going to remove this connector first at the bottom. Just grab it and gently wiggle it. Pulls right out. Next we're going to go to the one directly above it. That also pulls right out. This one is a red and black wire. This one has four wires, red, black, green, and yellow. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna need the Bosch 8.05 chip. This here is the advanced chip. It virtually looks the same as the standard chip. So here you can see we've got two connectors that match this one, and two connectors that match the smaller one. So first thing we wanna do is get our heat shrink and put it over the existing connectors. You can pull the leads out of the engine a little bit. Just need to be able to see the wires. Then you get your chip with the plug with the prongs coming out of it. You match the colors. So if we turn it around this way, plug it in, you'll see red goes to red, black to black, green to green, and yellow to yellow. And then we do the same on the other plug, we get the heat shrink. In this case, we've got a white and black here. So the black goes to black and the white goes to red. There we can see we've got white and black red and black. Okay the final step here is to plug these connectors back into the motor. So luckily there's only one way to do this so you don't have to be too concerned. So if you plug it in, you see I'm, it's hitting there, I'm not going in, so I'll rotate it. It just slides in easily. In this case it's got the yellow wire towards the front of the bike and the red wire to the back of the bike. And we'll do the same with the bottom switch. So here we've got the white wire to the back of the bike and the black wire to the front of the bike. And just make sure they're firmly connected. Once you've got the chip connected and the heat shrink in place, before heat shrinking it's good to test the chip to make sure it's working. To do this we're going to turn the bike on. So we see the lights come on. And now we're going to press the walk button to activate the chip. Okay, so we can see the chip's now activated, the red light's flashing. So that's a good sign, you can now heat shrink up your connections. And then we put the heat shrink over these connections. And next we're going to activate the heat shrink. 
Just go gentle, you don't need to melt the wiring. Slowly heat it up. Okay, now you can see we've got a great connection there. That's not going to come undone. Okay, final steps is we're going to do some, put some little cable ties on to keep the wiring nice and tight so it doesn't get disturbed over bumps, jumps, rocky trails. You slot the chip wiring through there. You can put a cable tie around this end. The best way to fit it in. So we'll run the wires from the plug up here and behind this metal plate. Holds them in nicely. And then we can see the chips tucked in behind the initial wiring bunch and it fits nicely in this little crevice here. And then we'll grab the motor cover, fit that on. So if you hold in the bottom cover, Screw it in, you just give it a little jiggle, make sure it all sits in there nicely. Then we'll put our screw in the top. Okay, the chip is now installed. Put our crank arm back on. Okay, now the chip is successfully installed. Please see our other video for the light chip or the advanced chip to see how this chip is activated and programmed and also how to use the mobile application for the advanced chip.